Hey everybody, I'm Drew. This is Clean Cheap Shots and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two VRs and one big thank you. The first VR is for Darren over at Return to Collecting who has reached 1,000 subs. Congratulations, Darren. Darren wanted us to share what our goal was for the next 12 months in cards. And to shout out three channels under 300 subs. Well, Darren, my goal for this year and the next 12 months is not to have any goals. In 2024, my goal was to get the Roberto Clemente card, which I did at the National in Cleveland this year. In 2023, my goal was to get the 1953 Willie Mays. In 2022, my goal was to pick up the 53 Mickey Mantle. 2021, my goal was to pick up the Sandy Koufax rookie card from 1955. So... This year, I decided I wasn't going to have any goals. So for the upcoming year in 2025, I wanted the show to come to me instead of me going to the show. And so for that reason, I decided to not set any goals. I wanted to have the ability to be spontaneous at shows and kind of just grab things that I loved instead of just being laser focused on one thing. Now for the shout outs for Darren. Again, those individuals that were on, under 300 subs. And I got to tell you, there was a lot to choose from. And if I don't shout you out here, it's no disrespect to anybody. In fact, I try to shout out people whenever I can. But for today's VR, I'm going to shout out Rob over at Cash Cards. He's got 188 subs. He's a Cincinnati Reds fan. Rob is so laid back in his delivery and it's so relaxing to listen to him, and he shows some pretty pretty darn nice cards. Most recently, he showed his collection of the Big Clue from Cincinnati. It was a, it was a joy to see those. The next person I want to shout out is Rippin' for Rushmans, and guess what? He's a Rushman fan. Well, he's a Baltimore Orioles fan, so he often shows many of the Baltimore Orioles cards that he has in his possession. He's got 147 subs. Love his channel. Please get over there and check it out. And then the last one under 300 subs is somebody that's really, uh, really new to me, and that's Warren D in the CLE. I don't know if it's Warren D in Cleveland or Warren D in the CLE, but Warren is so full of positivity that it makes it a joy to watch his channel. Uh, if I didn't mention, he's got 200 subs, and he's, again, relatively new to me, so I don't know everything about his collecting habits or his favorite players, but... I think you're really going to enjoy him, so please get over there and check out Warren D. in the CLE. All right, so the next VR is for this guy, John, 3D 80s kid. I'll get the glare off John here. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to tilt him a little bit there. All right, John, 3D 80s kid, celebrating two years on YouTube. Congratulations, John. I would have thought he'd been on for 10 years. He's got that editing so well refined and his narration's always on point. Now there was a few things that John wanted us to do and one of them was to watch our first video which I I actually did again here recently but we did at the frat house in Cleveland and uh, he wanted to talk a little bit about what we got out of it and what our goals were for joining YouTube and putting out content. He also wanted us to try to shout out somebody that he didn't know now that endeavor is going to be really difficult because John does a great job of reaching out to the community and discovering new channels and he often advertises those on Four Collectors. So if you haven't been subbed to Four Collectors, you really ought to be. Well John, regarding my first video, and I haven't been on YouTube very long, but I can tell you I've made no improvements. <laughs> so John, what I'd hoped to get out of joining YouTube and making content was, you know, friends. I wanted to connect with like-minded people. I didn't have a circle of friends that collected really like I do. So that was one of my, that was one of my goals. And also resources, you know, be able to learn from others. There's, there's so many people out there that have different experiences and collections and knowledge. So resources was really the second reason I did it. The other goal was, I figured it would push me to learn more about the fantastic stories about the men on the cards. I've often said it's not about the cardboard, it's about the people on the cardboard. 
All right, John. So for the one channel that you may have not heard about is Vintage Dave T. Now, Dave was a longtime commenter on my channel, and about eight months ago, he started making videos very quietly. But those videos are typically VRs for other people. He's a great commenter, and again, he participates in the VR. I think more recently, he did do one episode on a limited edition Negro League cards, which was interesting. So if you get a chance and you haven't uh, seen Vintage Dave T's channel, please go check him out. I believe he's got 79 subs at this point. All right, now for the generosity from the card community. I was up in New Jersey for a wedding reception. And just to show you how small of a world it is, I was actually in the hometown of Mookie Chilson. So I reached out to him and I said, hey, Let's go grab some breakfast. And much to my delight, he agreed. So he took me to the local diner, and it was a wonderful breakfast. We fought over the check, but Mookie won. Mookie, I owe you. I haven't forgotten that, and I won't forget it. And while we were there, he gave me a, a stack of cards. Uh, very unexpected. But this was fantastic because I actually didn't have, uh, I, I didn't have any of these cards. So uh, he... We're going to move you out of the way for right now, John. He gave me these uh, Burt Campaneris cards. I think that was that was awesome. So, you know, Burt Campaneris was born in Cuba, and he holds the A's franchise record for games played at 1,795 hits at 1882 and at-bats at 7,180. And as we go through these cards... A little bit more about Burt Campanaris. He led the American League six times in stolen bases. Here's a 1969 Burt Campanaris. Again, these are these are great, Mookie. I did not have these. Um, he had 649 stolen bases, which places him 14th in Major League history. And just a few more things about Burt Campanaris. In 1965, he was the first player ever to play every position in a Major League Baseball game. On the mound, he actually pitched lefty to left-handed batters. Then he'd switch over and pitch right-handed against right-handed hitters. Now, he finished with 2,249 hits. Again, 649 stolen bases. Six-time All-Star. Three-time World Series champion. He's in the Athletics Hall of Fame. And if you're into war... His war was 53, which is pretty darn good, and probably a guy that ought to get more consideration for the Hall of Fame. He was very instrumental in those Oakland Athletics back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back World Series championships. So, a couple more cards. Here's an Opeachy, 1985 Ricky Henderson. And another Ricky Henderson. That's from Upper Deck. And then we've got some... Cards from the 1973 World Series, I think. Well, that would be a playoff game, actually, in the American League against the Orioles. But here we have World Series games. And now I understand why Mookie wanted to get rid of these. It's because his Mets lost to the A's. So I'm guessing he couldn't have those in his collection any longer. And then... This was so cool. 1959 Larry Doby. Any Larry Doby and all Larry Doby cards are fantastic. So I was so happy to get that. And then one other card here. Very interestingly, this card right here of Al Downing. But this card, if you can see it, it's got two pinholes in it. And Mookie told me that this came off his Pinhole Hall of Fame. Now, I've reached out to uh, PSA because I'd like to get this card graded. Let me just put that right here. But yeah, I want to get that card graded. And I asked PSA if they'd be willing to put on the label or the flip, if you will, from the Pinhole Wall of Fame, Mookie Chilson Collection. Yeah, I thought that'd be great to have that on the flip. Now... I was in town for that wedding reception, as I mentioned. Now, what Mookie doesn't know is that the CFBI, that's the Card Farmers Bureau Investigations, was in town to talk to TNT Sports Cards right there in Westwood, New Jersey, which is a local card shop there for Mookie. Um, they wanted to get out there and, and uh, 
interview them for that ongoing investigation of uh, Mr. Chilson placing pinholes in cards. <laughs> See, Mookie, I told you it wasn't going to stop. We're going to keep investigating this. Mookie, I had a great time. Thank you for taking me to the diner. Thank you for driving me around town and showing me your wonderful community. That community is so well manicured. I was very, very impressed. Everything looks so Norman Rockwellish. Thank you for the cards. I can't wait to see you again. And congratulations once again to Darren for 1,000 subs and for John for two years on YouTube. Until next time, keep growing your collection, card farmers.